Hello guys, this is Spinerack and welcome back to the Command Zone. It has been a while since I've made one of these because I lost my uh, Command Zone world. Um, however, I am back and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a scoreboard timer, basically. Um, you can count up, you can count down. And uh, yeah, so I, I decided to make this ever since, uh, ever since I made the first Build Battles video and I realized I needed a better timer. And I think this is definitely a better timer. Uh, here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it working, and then I'll show you exactly how to make it. Um, and it doesn't have to be this big, it can be a little bit more compressed, it can be in different places. I'm making a vertical tower like this, uh, just for the sake of, you know, showing you guys how to do it. Um, and I will go through step by step how to make it, but make sure you check out the Discord server, link in the description. Uh, I would appreciate if people join, that's always cool. Anyway. All right, so good things to keep in mind, 20 ticks. Uh, so in the box here, you see delay in ticks. 20 ticks is one second, 1200 ticks is one minute, uh, and 200 ticks is 10 seconds. Uh, okay, so when I push this button down here, it sort of, you can sort of ignore this button up here, that's sort of for testing. Push this button down here, you can see a timer pops up, and it gives us 30 seconds. So I made it so that it gives a countdown sort of above the hot bar, uh, starting from 10 seconds. Just, uh, at least I made this with build battle in mind. So that's there because I want people that are building to know, you know, when their last 10 seconds are. Because I know a lot of people probably wouldn't be looking at the timer. So when they see that uh, popping up, that would definitely be, uh, be a lot nicer. And then three, two, one, and then time is up. The scoreboard goes away, the number fades away and then time is up eventually fades away. It's a pretty simple thing here. And you can see right here, I have uh, I have a 400 tick delay, so that'll be 20 seconds. Uh, we gotta wait to see it. But if you wanna see it without the scoreboard, this right here is pretty much just the countdown. And then there's like the little end bit. So if you don't wanna have that countdown or you wanna make it longer or shorter, you can sort of extend or make this uh, a little bit smaller. And in a second, yeah, you can see, there we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 4221 or whatnot. There's not really going to be much happening other than the title because uh, normally it would get rid of that redstone block and then uh, and, and things like that. So anyway, that is uh, that is the timer itself and I'm going to go hop into another world and show you guys exactly how to build it um, and then I will modify it after I show you how to build this one. I will modify it to fit my needs for build battle and I guess I'll, I'll document the process. All right, uh, let me... Can I, can I get in first? Okay, there we go. Okay, so I am here in the Build Battles world. This is sort of my, my default build um, here, but I think before any, we do anything, that the, the one thing you're gonna need, the most important thing here, is a command block. So I have one over there, I could pick block it, but for those of you that don't know, you get it by doing a slash give, uh, and you can't do this in survival or uh, creative without uh, like cheats on, um, which I don't even know you, if you can do that, but give at p, Command underscore block. Now I always just grab an impulse. Uh, that's this uh, this sort of tan one. I always just grab an impulse and edit it from there. But if you would like to, instead of having to type in the command every time, what you can do is you can change it to chain. And if it's chain, I recommend it being unconditional and always active unless you know a build says to do otherwise uh, or you want to do something else. And then for repeat, I'm going to make this uh, repeat need some redstone here. Uh, and then for pick block, for me, it's uh, control and a mouse button. It depends on what you're playing on that it would actually be. So this first command block here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a basic impulse command block down here. So your first command block, uh, for me, I'm going to have these all facing up. It doesn't matter the orientation as long as they're all going into each other uh, pretty much. Um, except for, I guess I would recommend making them all facing up unless you want to do something like coordinates based. Anyway, I'm getting... Things are getting out of hand here. So for this first one, you're going to want to type scoreboard. Sorry about my my slow typing. Objectives. That's objectives. So scoreboard objectives. Uh, add is going to add an objective. This is not something that you will see. This is something that you will reference later. Uh, and then you're going to want to type in timer dummy. And then timer. Caps do matter here, so so just uh, just pay attention to to my capitalizing here. Um, so yeah, just keep the delay intakes on zero for this one. And then the next one here we're going to do is scoreboard. Let's actually here. I, I should probably uh, come on. Can I fly up? Okay, there we go. 
So this is going to set that display. You're going to be able to see. This is how you'll be able to see, you know, exactly what you're looking at. So pretty much all of these will start out with scoreboard. So scoreboard. I'm going to say scoreboard a lot today, aren't I? Uh, objectives. Can I type, please? And then set display. So that's what's going to, you know, set the display. It's pretty, pretty much makes sense. And then sidebar just sort of determines where exactly you see it. And then timer. So that timer is referencing your uh, what you had earlier, what I typed earlier. So the the timer, dummy timer. This is going to say like, that's that's what you can what you can see basically. If that makes sense, it's kind of hard to explain. And then uh, I think you can do descending too, but for the, can I, did I type this ascending? Yeah, there we go. But for the sake of this, I'm going to make it ascending. Um, just, there's only gonna be minutes on this one. If you wanna add seconds, uh, you could do that. It's not gonna be in one pillar though, but you can you can probably take everything here and it will make sense. Okay, um, so here you're going to want to do scoreboard players add seconds timer one. So here, let me type this in. So you're not actually adding a real player in the game. The, or score, yeah, score players add, this is adding a player, but this is a fake player. The player is just like the, the, the text below the title of the, of the scoreboard. So score players add, and then this player is going to be named seconds. Um, but I will change this to minutes later and then timer. That's your, uh, that's your objective. And then one, uh, this is just gonna pretty much, you know, add the add the player there. I think this might not entirely be necessary, but I always do it just to be safe. Um, because here we are going to be doing scoreboard players set seconds timer 30. So here we go. Scoreboard. Just trying to make sure I don't hit caps lock. I, I'm not good at typing. I, I apologize. So this is going to set, uh, if we set timer, let's see, there we go. Uh, second timer. Actually, here I forgot to capitalize seconds. Hold on. So the only things that really need caps are the uh, like the names of things. So seconds and timer are both capitalized, and then twenty. So this is, oops, thirty. There we go. This is going to basically set it to be thirty and count down from thirty. If you wanted to, you could set it to zero. If you just got rid of the three, you could set it to zero, and then you could count up. Let's say you're you're trying to do like a stopwatch kind of thing, um, but this is more of a timer than a stopwatch here. But this is essentially just setting the player seconds on the objective timer to the value of 30. And then the next one here is pretty, it's just a set block command, it's pretty simple. So set block, uh, then three squiggles, actually here, make the second, squiggle, squiggle, three, squiggle. Uh, and then red stone, underscore block. I think you could use a redstone torch to actually now nah, redstone you kind of need redstone blocks for this one. The next thing here you're going to want to grab a block of, of your choice put it on top of here and then you're going to want to throw down a repeating command block make sure it has needs of redstone on you can I don't think the orientation of this one matters it's just going to be this one here. So this is going to count down one second every second if that makes sense. So this is scoreboard Players, uh, remove seconds time run. Okay, players. I have I have notes written down here, just because it's uh I could do it. It would take a lot longer if I tried to do it for memory. Remove uh, seconds time one. So this will remove for every interval. So by default, it's just uh, going to happen every every tick pretty much. Uh, but for every interval in ticks, whatever you have, so this is gonna be 20, since 20 ticks is a second, we want one second to be removed from the timer every second, right? That makes uh, that makes sense. All right, so I'd like to just go ahead and mention, make sure you have execute on the first tick off because that kind of causes a problem. Uh, all right, yeah, back to stuff. Um, and then next thing you're gonna do here, you can put a block here for now. So here, I'm gonna break some blocks off of the side just so, uh, just so we can break this block later. Although I think we'll be fine if we aren't to break the block. So next here, this is going to essentially be our title. 
This is not like the, the big title, but this is the little box there where it counts down from 10. Like I said, this part is kind of optional here, but I'm doing it anyway uh, for this. So title at a, and then action bar is the one that's gonna be like above your, your, uh, your hot bar. So action bar, and then just 10. You could do 10 with an exclamation mark. You could do like some weird symbols or whatever, I don't know. But I'm just gonna set mine to 10. Then you're going to want to uh, pick block this block, but don't just do any pick block. I recommend doing control and pick block because um, doing a control pick block will copy its data values too. Uh, so now you can see it says that in here too. And if you, I go into the inventory, you can see it says command block plus data. So right here, I'm gonna set this one to chain, always active. And then I'll just change the 10 to nine. And then I guess I can probably skip ahead on this part, but her, here, maybe I'll show this. So just go to eight. Um, and then the last thing we're going to have here, so this is going to be a title title. I don't know how better to describe it. So this will be a title, uh, oops. Well, I just made it realize my critical error. Um, uh, yep. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. This might be an issue. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, make sure this one here actually, yeah, before it's not really an error. It's just something, something that we need to do. Okay. So this first one, this impulse one. Set that to 400, which is 20 seconds, since this is, you know, 30 seconds. And then you're going to want to set each of these to 20, which is one second. Um, you could do that from the beginning, uh, but I'm doing it here after because I'm actually probably going to change some of these on my own um, because I need to, you know, make this thing actually work for what I need it to work for. This is much easier if you do a control pick block, which I, I forgot to do. So uh, maybe... Uh, hopefully this will be good for those of you that actually watch the whole tutorial before building a build. Um, I, I definitely recommend that just in any scenario. There we go. Okay, so now we've got all of our uh, all of our things here. We can finally add our titles. So I'm gonna do 20 seconds here, or 20 ticks. Sorry, 20 ticks one second. So title. Can I type please? Title at a. Title, and then. Uh, time is up. There we go. I'm gonna make this all caps just because I want I can that's gonna be the one I'm pointing at my screen You can't see it. that's gonna be the one that covers like the whole front of the screen like uh, Like where the I don't know. Yeah, right in the middle of the screen sort of where the crosshair is and Then you're going to want to set the block So this is going to basically set this block down here. It's gonna set that one to air which will eventually be a redstone block um, so that's exactly what you need it to do. So that's what this next command here is going to do. So set block and then squiggle squiggle negative 12, not 21, 12 squiggle and then air. Uh, if you make this a different size, you'll probably like a different countdown. You'll probably want to change how far down that is or else you'll just delete a command block and that wouldn't be good. Um, and then finally here, we're going to get rid of the scoreboard. Um, so I recommend shift uh, crouching and then jumping and right clicking if you want to nerd pull up with these like I'm doing here. So this is going to just be a uh, scoreboard objectives and then remove because that gets rid of the uh, rid of the objective and then timer and it won't be a big deal because you're just making the objective at every the beginning of every you know thing. And then you're getting rid of it at the end. So I'm gonna build this up all array, all our way, all the way around here. Um, so I guess if you want to make this, you would have to here. If you if you want to make this like 30 minutes, uh, you would change this. I'm pretty sure to just whatever. Uh, uh, 10 seconds is. Hold on. I'm I'm trying to think here. Uh, math, math, math. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do, however many ticks, you're gonna wanna subtract 200 from that, and that's gonna be how much you're gonna put in here. However many ticks uh, in total, so 30 minutes, I'm not gonna do the math right now, but the, however many ticks that is, uh, is going to be 30 times 60 times 20 minus 200. And then this will just turn to, uh, for every minute, that's gonna be 1200. Anyway, all right, so I had to clear something up with, uh, with myself, but now I am back, and let's see. So now this hopefully should work. Yep, see, look, it starts at 20, 30, sorry, and counts down 
26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, and so on and so forth. You can see the redstone block is now there and it will eventually be gone. Um, I'm gonna actually cover the top of this in red concrete because I think it looks nice. Um, but you can see that it will now count down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and it, you can see I'm pointing at this with my finger, it's not doing anything. 3, 2, 1, and then time is up. The scoreboard goes away. And yeah, so that is essentially this timer. I'm gonna go ahead and modify it to work for uh, for my build battle needs, and I will check back in right at the end. And for those of you that want to know, if you want to make this 30 minutes, you're gonna to want to set this here to 35, 800 ticks, um, and then for the countdown. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, I think, for for counting down uh, from or you know for 30 minutes. So actually, hold on. Uh, you're all the other thing you're gonna want to do here is uh, change so you're gonna want to make all the things that say seconds you're gonna want to change them all to uh, minutes too all right and now this should be functional as a 30 minute timer I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead go ahead and give it a shot um, however I, I'm not gonna wait through this whole 30 minutes Th this is a working command uh, timer and I know that it worked for 30 seconds because we got to work for 30 seconds, but I think this should drop down to 29 minutes uh, within the next like 30 seconds. I think it's been about 30 seconds. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching to here. Make sure to join the Discord and whatnot. Um, let me know if you want more command tutorials. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm a little bit rusty on, uh, on doing things, but this should hopefully drop to 29, and once it does, I will, I will outro the video. I think that seems like a like a good way to do things so uh, uh, uh come on you got this yeah 29 see boom that that went down one minute so anyway i'm gonna use this for build battles um and you know i did this i did this in a video all right anyway sorry i'm just ranting i'm tired thanks for watching me to here make sure to like and subscribe and whatever see you guys later and bye